Welcome back everybody. We're here to do the pick a card for the date of May the 22nd. So you're just going to pick whichever card calls to you the most and that is going to tell you what's going to be the most noticeable energy that pops up during the day. For a lot of you, all three of these cards energies are kind of showing up so it may be that that happens as well. But you want to pick one for the more, most notable energy. And so your choices are card one, card two, and card three. Uh, once you've made your choice, feel free to go ahead and resume this video. If you chose card one, what we have coming up here is the Four of Swords in Reverse. Four of Swords in Reverse does talk to me about moving, change of location. So anything really could be happening in a change of location. You could be literally moving on this day, or you could be having breakfast at a different location than usual, going to work at a different location than usual, taking your child to daycare at a different location than usual. Um, you know, really anything can be happening at a different location than usual. But for me, that's what's indicated by the Four of Swords in Reverse, is something's happening in a different geographic location. Now if you chose card number two, what you have showing up here, see if we can get away from the glare, okay so this is the death card. This is really one of my scarier depictions of the death card. I would not call it death, I would call it transition and those of you who have been watching me for a while know that I say that pretty commonly. So we've got basically the transition card showing up in reverse. Now in reverse just means that there is some kind of change that we know we need to be making and we know for sure it would improve at least one area or one aspect of our life, maybe even more. And instead of making that change, we're holding back, we're sort of digging in um, and holding off on making this change. And a lot of times we do that because we're afraid of the unknown. How will this affect the rest of our uh, lives if we, if we make this change? We know it'll improve one part, but what about the rest of our lives? And so a lot of times the fear of that unknown is what holds us back. So if you feel this energy coming in, you want to sort of, you actually want to change the outcome. You want to change this card. You want to make this card a liar, basically. You want to embrace that energy of making that change because when it shows up on this card, it talks about the idea that not only is this change going to improve one particular area of your life, but several others as well. And this is a deep change. This is, this is a big deal change. This isn't like looking in the mirror and going, oh, I don't think I feel like wearing a blue blouse today. I think I'm going to put on yellow. Um, this is something that is more in the way that you live your life and more systematic. Okay, So it's a system-wide change, if you would, I guess. And so that um, it is also a change that brings about good in every area of your life once you get to the other side of it. It's only the in-between time when you're waiting to see how things pan out that is uncomfortable. Okay, so that's if you chose card number two. Card number three. All right, so here we have the Hierophant showing up in reverse. Wow, we got all three reversals today. Okay, well, Hierophant in reverse just means that there is some type of commitment or agreement that for a lot of you, you're already in this and you are getting out of it or you're working on how can I get out of it, no longer committed to that commitment or agreement. And for others of you, this could be that you were on the verge of getting into a commitment or agreement or you were considering a commitment or agreement and after consideration, you're deciding that this particular commitment or agreement is not really something that you want to jump into right now. This is something that you may not want to jump into it at all. And some of you, you may just want to have a delay, but you definitely don't want to jump into this commitment or agreement right now. 
Now this could be some type of contract, legal and binding contract. This could also be something like a marriage or something that would be uh, more of a verbal commitment even. So I think that you're realizing you might have been uh, on the trajectory towards this commitment and you're realizing that this is really uh, not something that you want to commit to after all. Okay. So if we're looking in chronological order, something's happening in a different location. There's some type of change you know you need to make, but you're avoiding making it um, if you don't make that card untrue. And you're realizing that there's a commitment that you really, you don't see that it's really a good thing for you to jump into. Okay. Thank you guys for being here. I am looking forward to doing readings and Reiki sessions with some of you today. And the rest of you, I'll see you back on the next video. Peace out.